Hi guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. Today we are gonna learn Thai from memes for the people who haven't learned the Thai alphabet and cannot read Thai yet. You might not get the joke in each pictures that I'm about to talk about, but I will breaking down the most interesting words in each sentence. You learn how playful the language is when it comes to making a joke and teasing. For the first one, I have replaced with an easier font to read. Ton lek kap fan rag rag na gu gli can lei. Ton lek kap fan rag rag na gu gli can lei. Ao mid gli ao mid gli ao lip กรีดทาสีที่ใช่แล้วออกไปหาผัวใหม่ค่ะเลิศ so let's break down the girl with long hair said when I recently broke up with my boyfriend I slit my wrist and the girl with short hair said slit with a knife slit with lipstick find the right color and go out to find a new dude Excellent. If you notice the first box, she said "fan," which literally means boyfriend. But in the last one, she said p u a which means husband. In Thai, if you are sleeping with someone, technically you two refer as husband and wife for spoken language. l u t l u t means excellent, great, or Awesome. It can be used with something physical or abstract. When women test lipstick color, we apply it on our hand instead of slitting her wrist because of the pain from the breakup. The girl chose to buy new lipstick and go out to find new guys. t o n it's when, so don't confuse with เมื่อไร and ตอนไหน Those two used for asking a question, but t o n just like in this context, we say t o n when you want to refer some specific period time in the past. l o v l o v means to break up, to quit something, or to stop doing something. ฉันเลิกกับเขาแล้วฉันเลิกกับเขาแล้ว I broke up with him. หา means to find. ไม่ means new. The second one. เธอก็เหมือนไฟแดงไม่ได้ทำให้เราหยุดที่เธอนะแต่ทำให้เสียเวลา You are like a traffic light, not making me stop at you, but making me waste time. เธอ it's you, right? See, we don't use only "kun" for you. If you want to master how to use Thai pronouns, click right here to check my video. เหมือน means looks like. ไฟแดงไฟแดง it's traffic light. We say ไฟแดง which literally means red light. ทำให้ทำให้ to make something happen is a passive voice. หยุด to stop. But in this context, it means to settle down. เสียเวลาเสียเวลา waste time. So traffic light it's represent to someone that came across to our life. So traffic light is represented by someone that came across for a while and made us stop seeing somebody else. But It turned out that we just wasted time because the relationship wasn't long-lasting. Not by settling down forever, but just temporarily. The next one. แพงไปเปล่าน้องแพงไปเปล่าน้องอีกเจ้าคิดแค่ห้าร้อยเองอีกเจ้าคิดชั่วโมงละสองร้อยเองอีกเจ้าพี่ก็ไปจ้างเขาสิ The guy in the green shirt said, "Is it too expensive?" Another photographer charges only 500 baht per hour. Another one charges only 200 baht per hour. Another photo 
so he haven't finished his sentence yet and then the guy in the red shirt said พี่ก็ไปจ้างเขาสิ that means you better hide them Pang, it's expensive everybody knows จ้าง to hire Eng is a word to emphasize something that's not a big deal แค่นี้เองแค่นี้เอง it's not a big deal see it used to at the end of commanding sentence when you want to emphasize someone to do something like fucking do it right now another word that used the same is D but D it's a little bit softer but basically they are the same meaning it means again or another or more อีกคน another person อีกร้าน another shop เจ้า is a classifier used to refer a supplier a vendor or any kind of occupation that provides a service in exchange of money you can call a restaurant เจ้า not an actual restaurant but a shop or a booth that you see on street or at an event or at a market just like this in this picture they are talking about photographers the guy in the green shirt tried to bargain fee by referring to other photographers that charge less and the guy in the red shirt said you better hide them one thing that i want you guys to look carefully is pow it's grammatically wrong to spell like this pow the right one could be spelling like this plow plow so it's the same as Nam plow or cow plow, which is shortened form of rü plow, rü plow. And one thing that is wrong is cow. Cow is a spoken language, but basically it the same as cow. So when we write it, it has to be cow. But when we speak it for spoken language, it's pronounced cow. So basically, they are the same meaning. So don't get confused. All right, the next one. เราไปเดทกันเถอะเธออยากไปไหนเราไปเดทกันเถอะเธออยากไปไหนดูหนังดูหนังในโรงดูหนังหน้ามึงด้วย So this is wrong again. In Thai language, we don't use question mark in any sentence in any question because when you want to ask a question it's already a question so we don't use question mark and we don't have full stop and we don't use comma เราไปเดทกันเถอะเธออยากไปไหน let's go on a date why you wanna go ดูหนัง to watch a film ดูหนังในโรง in a cinema or movie theater for Americans look at your face or look at yourself why would I want to go on a date with you? date is a borrowed word from English อยาก want to something อยากกินพิซซ่า I want to eat pizza หนัง means skin and femme if you want to order ข้าวมันไก่ without skin say ไม่เอา หนัง but in this context, the girl didn't say it clearly in the beginning. Nang na is a word that used to describe someone's face or appearance. So, do nang na mung duoi means look at yourself, look at your face. Please look at yourself before asking me to go on a date. This phrase can be used to insult someone when he or she tries to hit on someone that is out of that league to decrease the harm you can replace mung with tua eng do nang na tua eng doi so you can say this to your friends when they try to approach someone that looks way too good for them all right i hope you guys enjoy this lesson and learn something new as you can see we don't use pom kun chan all the time and we don't say krap ka ka na krap all the time 
words that have the same pronunciation can be used in a joke. Most Thai gags are created this way. If you want to be able to make a joke in Thai, try to learn words that have multiple meanings and you are good to go. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you like it and i'll make more videos like this if you like if you don't like we will go back to something that you guys like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button and i'll see you next time bye